Hi guys, Brandon here with Mr. Motorhome. And I've brought you today the 2009 Flagstaff v Light. Now Flagstaff is a, a company owned by Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett. And the v Light is a, it's a very interesting product. It's something that hasn't been around for a long time. It's a, a 31 foot. And what they've done is if you take a look at this front end, they full nose the front. Really smart design. Dynamically sound. If you look at this, you can imagine this acts just like a knife cut right through the air. It's a very great use of space. Take a look at the inside here. Now your propane tanks are out of the way. You don't have to worry about having someone in the middle of the night come by and unlatch them. Keep this locked. And uh, you've got the automatic switchover, of course. So if one tank goes down, Brandon, what is that black that's in there? I, I see that it doesn't look like your standard exposed wood. Yeah, this is actually finished, and what that's going to help do is protect your RV through uh, weather and stuff like that. You can see down here, this is all open, and so if we had some rain that was getting kicked up from the back of your tires, this is going to help protect it. Oh, that's real nice. The 831 is a two-slide model, as you can see. You've got the bedroom slide and the huge living room slide. This is going to include both the dinette and sofa. We'll see that on the inside. Now take a look down here. Your V-Light is actually built on a torsion suspension system. And what that means to you is you have four-wheel independent suspension. It's not like a leaf spring that's going to bounce up and down at the same time. I hear that that gives you better reliability. What do they mean by that? Well, what happens is, let's say you hit a pothole when you're going down the road. Well, if you actually had a leaf spring, you're going to have one whole side enter the pothole. With the torsion suspension, you have all four wheels maintain uh, contact with the ground. And so it, it makes a lot smoother ride. This is the same system they'll use on an Airstream. Now, your V-Light's a higher-end coach, and the way we can tell this is some of the options you get that are standard. You've got an electric awning. It's almost the entire length of this coach. It's a huge awning. And it's push button. All you do is reach inside, push that, it'll come straight on out. And uh, what's nice is you can do that while drinking a soda pop in one hand. Down below here, this is going to be your water heater. It's a direct spark ignition. We can open that up. Boy, that's going to be nice. You don't have to come outside to light a spark. That's right. And on a windier day like today, having to fight a oh, pilot boy, lighter. That'd like be that. almost impossible. Yeah, I know it. This is set up for an outdoor barbecue. So if we look down below here, you've actually got a gas quick connect. And you've got enough room for a barbecue and a little side table to be able to sit there and grill on the outside when the weather's nice. Right underneath the awning. Oh, nice. It even looks like it has speakers up here. They pretty much give you everything that you need. They do. Outdoor speakers for your stereo. And they're, they're huge. They're not the little tiny ones you'll see that some of the cheapo guys will put. Another thing that's nice is this is a standard feature. It's a big grab assist handle. It's a... Uh, great if you have mobility issues or even for kids when they're running out in and out of the coach. They like having something to grab onto. Let's take a look onto the inside. Let's do. Now this is our main living area. You can see you get a huge picture window in the back and it's actually venting on the bottom there. And then again on the sides. You've got the day-night shades, which are a lot more durable than your standard uh, mini blinds, aluminum mini blinds, these are going to last a lot longer. Boy, they sure look a whole lot nicer, too. Well, they do. They're a lot cleaner. And they're not going to make that same rattling noise that you hear when you're going up <laughs> and down the road. The famous rattle. That's right. <laughs> RVers have been putting up with that for too long. No longer. No longer. Now, a couple things that are really nice is you've got a big picture window here in the back, and the, the way you're able to do that is this is completely vacuum bonded. What's that mean? Vacuum bonding is a process where they take and they laminate the fiberglass to the wood and the uh, interior wall. Just and like laminating paper? That's it. It's, it's like a five piece sandwich that they'll put together and then suck all the air out. And it does a few things. One thing it does is it makes this the lightest uh, coach on the market. For a 31 foot, this it's going to weigh in right around 6,400 pounds. And wow. they still put it on a heavy duty chassis. So you're rated for a 10,000 pound, but you're not going to get anywhere near that, even when this thing's fully loaded. Well, it looks like you still got a full-size kitchen here. You do. They don't skimp on anything. Forest River does a great job. You've got the three-burner stove here. Nice size oven. Looks like it's brand new. You'll notice that it hasn't really been used a whole lot. This is nice. I see a lot of them sticky with just a convection microwave. Yeah, I know it. This gives you both the uh, microwave and oven. You don't have to choose. 
Of course, because it's a, a more high-end unit, you're going to have real wood doors. Oh, yeah. Two gas pistons instead of a single. Look at how deep that is. You I can actually put a serving tray in it. I see how it's lipped, too, so that nothing right. can fall out. So you can put pots and pans in here. You don't have to worry about them flying out and hitting you when you go to open it. Now, this actually gives you a lot of sleeping. Take a look at this here. It doesn't look like you're that big of a couch. But you can actually flip this over. And Whoa! Right here. This is a full-size hide-a-bed. Man, this it's like the Transformers there. Right. I didn't know you were Michael Bay. It's an air mattress. <laughs> And it's got a, a built-in pump, so you just plug it in, it blows itself up. These are way more comfortable than those old, older-style pull-out ones, where you'd fill the bar in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. That's really something. It looks like they give you a lot of storage They there. do. You've actually got, if we look down below here, a pull-out drawer. Whoa! So additional storage down below. Perfect if you wanted to keep your sheets, pillows, stuff like that. Nice. Look at the light fixtures are even really classy on this. They're not just those standard little cheapo... Well, and they're ones. swivel. If you were sitting here while reading a book, you can actually direct the lighting where you wanted it without disturbing anybody else in the coach. Now, take a look at this here. You've got a freestanding dinette. This will make into a bed. And what do you, you mean by freestanding dinette? Well, it's not attached. And what's nice about that ah. is you can take this out underneath the awning when you're barbecuing right outside. You oh, yeah. Additional counter space. That's really awesome. And look, again, the nice detail in these lighting fixtures. I right. absolutely love it. Residential lighting. They're not cheaping out at all. No. And is this an entertainment center over here? It is. And there's a few things to take a look at. Not only do we have the built-in flat screen TV, which is a standard feature, you've got the concert tone CD, DVD, MP3 player. It's actually got a built-in uh, spot for your iPod. Oh, nice. Now, as we walk back towards the bedroom area, a couple things I want to point out. You've got the actual oak wood panel refrigerator. It's a nice Dometic built here in America. Fridge and freezer. Well, it barely looks used. No, and then take a look at your storage here for your pantry. You've got a ton of space back here. Whoa, I don't know that if you can deep. see this, Mitch, but this is really deep. A lot of people That's say... That's like Escher deep. <laughs> That's Escher deep. That's right got a designated spot for your linen closet. Oh. So perfect for your towels. You've got a huge area here. You could probably fit, what do you think, Mitch? Oh, 30 towels? At least 30 <laughs> towels. That's a lot of uh, people taking showers. It is. And then you've got the uh, residential style door. You know, Brandon, one of the things that everybody always asks me about is these gaps at the top and bottom. Right. The main reason that the manufacturers do that is why again? It's for ventilation. You don't want to have, you know, a completely enclosed area inside any travel trailer because it's going to hold in moisture. Is and that why they actually have these these ducts up here in the top? What yeah, is that about? Yeah, if you about? take a look at this, uh, this is what they call central ducted air conditioning. So it's just like you'd have in your house. A couple things to point out is, let's say it's too cold, and you're like, ah, I don't want that air on me. You can close it off. Oh, nice. Okay. Or let's say, uh, you know what, I want it while I'm getting out of the shower. Well, they're directional, so you can change it. Boy, it looks like there's a lot of ducks going all through the coach. There are. This air conditioner is going to put out 13,500 BTUs of air conditioning power. Boy, that's an awful lot with the thick insulation that they have. That's actually 3-inch brick foam insulation. It What's is. the difference between that and the spray insulation? Well, that's a good thing you asked that, Mitch. A lot of people tell me, Brandon, you know, what's the difference in some of these sidewalls and insulation? And, and for me, it's all nonsense. And I tell them, well, imagine it this way. Uh, spray insulation is going to be more residential fiberglass. It's like a blown fiberglass that they'll put inside of your wall here. Not only could you not vacuum bond it, right, because it's just blown fiberglass, but what happens is over time from the bounce and just the normal wear and tear, it's going to start to settle. Ah. And then guess what? Your insulation goes from R7 in the sides to R0. Oh, it's like having an old mattress. That's right. And having brick foam insulation is, it's a solid piece. And so that's also going to give you rigidity to your sidewall. Well, it sounds like concrete. <laughs> it does. It's something you couldn't do, you know, with a, a blown fiberglass. And it's going to maintain your R7. Wow, that is a huge space behind you. Is that another room? It's, it's a walk-in closet, Mitch. Yes, a walk-in closet inside of a travel Look trailer. Look at all that space in there. Whoa! And this is in your bull nose. It's a great use of space again. You've got plenty of space for uh, shoes. 
you know, a, a nice spot where you can fold some of your jeans. And then his and hers. With enough room where you guys don't have to fight. That's <laughs> great. And it looks like the bed's giving you that same concept. Enough room where you don't have to fight. That's right. You've got a full-size bed here. A lot of built-in storage. Oh, and nice. And these are built on ball-bearing mold sides. You see that? Oh, yeah. They're not just boxes of wood that are stuck in there like the cheaper right. guys. And if you look, it's all finished, even in the back. So it's not just a piece of OSB or particle board. No, oh, no splinters. That's right. Well, you know, guys, check out our website, MrMotorHome.com. If you have any questions, give Brandon a call directly. He's the RV guru. And uh, let us know what you think. Hey, thanks, guys.